Major Slack Attack. All right. Now. Let's see this baby in action, Conjure Ash Guardian, Hotkey it. Let's make that guy number six. Armor is respectable. Okay, Fortomall mage bitches, say hello to my little friends. Whoop. <laughs> okay, I forgot. Hang on. Potion of Fortify Magicka. Okay, now we have enough Magicka to, to do the job. There we go, 300 Magicka. Right out in the middle here. And Stormy. Okay, go to work, boys. <laughs> I'm warning you. Back off. Here we go. Here we go. Sometimes it takes a while for the Ash Guardian to kind of like notice that there's there's combat. Come on, get in the war there. Basically, combat has to come in within his like his um, zone. And then he'll like dislodge from that. Okay, let's see if we can get this. Uh... Walk this way. There we go. There we go. He's activated. <laughs> now, <laughs> check it out. This is a riot. Damn you, dude! I'd run if I were you. <laughs> and he's a nice mage too. He's got no protection against either of these, either of these guys. <laughs> Love it, dude! Houston, we have liftoff. <laughs> okay, who else wants some? Use what you want some, huh? That's right, run. Keep them coming. <laughs> There's still something left here. There you go, up there. <laughs> go get him, Stormy. Where are you? Are you hiding? Awesome. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Excellent, boys. Yeah, isn't that awesome? A team of Afterox. You could potentially put this together by... I figured it out. By level 7. If you used an, a high elf. And yes, I definitely want to do a walkthrough of this. I was I wanted to save this for that, but uh yeah. Yeah, I want to create a build like that for sure. Okay, so we own this area. We now have a new uh more 
readily, readily accessible Shrine of Julianos right there. So you just come to Fort Amal. By the way, these things require a Hearthstone to cast in the non-hostile form. If you don't have a Hearthstone and you cast them, they'll be, hum they'll be hostile to everybody, including you. And they will take you down in a New York minute. You'll just die. I read about a way of making them non-hostile. It says that on the UESP website. Um, if you just go into sneak mode and remain undetected for like a certain amount of time um, while you cast one of these in a hostile mode, they will eventually forget that they're hostile towards you and then they become non-hostile. So essentially, you could create a non-hostile Ash Guardian without having to use a Hearthstone. I tested it. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. So I don't know if that's old or if it got patched out or if there's something they left out of the description, but it didn't work. But hey, we got a ton of Hearthstones. So, and that's not even all. There's, there's way more to be had on Soul's Time. That's just like maybe about one third of the Hearthstones that you could uh, get together. So that's that. Okay, so that's that. I want to take one more crack at uh, seeing if I can get the um, the Reluctant Steward's quest to spawn with Neloth, or Neloth, rather. And after that, we're going to go take on Iron Bind Barrow with our new gang <laughs> of Atronox. And after that, we're going to set out the business bomb. Bingo. Here we go. That's what you're looking for. That dialogue option there. No, I haven't seen Verona. Well, find her. There we go. Tell her I want apple cabbage stew with some canis root tea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why don't you just make your own tea? What? Make my own tea? Yeah. I am a master wizard of the house Telmon. Other people. La -di -da. Okay, let's agree to do this. Of course, Master Neeloth, as you command. Finally, someone who recognizes my importance around here. Now, okay, and completing this quest oh, will open up this. Let's do this. So we have everything at our disposal here at Till Mithrin. Okay, we. They don't give you any clues. Um, I forgot. First thing you could do, you don't need to do this. This is completely optional, but it helps. Basically, you're just supposed to ask around. So let's start with Talus. Oh, did you need something? Have you seen Verona? Not recently. Neloth keeps me very busy with spell research. Ask Alenia. She and Verona seem to be quite friendly. Elenia, all right. I'd better get going. Elenia is the p apothecary next door, and you're going to become very familiar with her shop when we set off our business bomb. So get accustomed to this route going from Tel Mithrin to the apothecary. You can just kind of go down here, jump up on this kind of like edge here, jump over onto this mushroom, and then jump over here. And this is this kind of like a shortcut to her shop and looks like oh okay it's after business hours let's wait till business hours come on there you go she just came in door is opened just back away and go up, and it's open. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Damn okay, Elenia. Totally 
That's nice. We'll talk to you about that later. First of all, have you seen Verona? She left for Raven Rock hours ago. She promised to bring me back some fresh blister wart. All right. Now, having done that, let's go back outside. Look on your map, and you now have a marker where Verona is. That's all you have to do to get a marker there. Let's go there now. Make sure you're ready to rock. Because there's going to be three Ash Guardians there. Now be advised, Ash Guardians have a 75% fire resistance. So if you use your, use your Ash Guardian, he's not going to be that effective. But he'll help out some. As soon as we get close, there they are. Oh, die! Okay, it's on. <laughs> All kinds of things are happening here. Ran out of charge for my Storm Atronox staff. And I need some extra magic to cast my, cast my Ash Guardian. Jeez. Okay, it's on. It's on. Great. <laughs> Somebody else is in the mix there. <laughs> okay, now the objective should have updated. You have to kill the three um, ash spawns. There's the second one. And there's the third one over there. These guys should be able to handle it. Let's get Stormy right up in there. Melee range. You do your stuff, Stormy. There we go, they're both working on him. But like I said, the Ash Guardian is not going to do that much damage because he's doing fire damage and these guys have 75% fire resistance. But it works both ways. He's got resistance to them too. Do your burst thing in there, Stormy. Yeah, that's what's going to really wipe him out. Keep at it. Okay, one's down. Let's see if we can take him out. Um, he's down. Great. Let's put out a fresh Stormy. Alright. He's gonna he's close to being down. He's down. And one more here. Let's get Stormy right up in his face. Gotta give the Ash Guardian a name. No, go closer, Stormy. Yeah, right up there, right up in his face. <laughs> hey, dude. The party's over here. <laughs> You're missing all the fun. Okay, there's only one left. Um, let's see if we can help him out with a bound bow. Down on your knees, bitch. And there we go. Okay. Excellent job. Outstanding, Stormy. Outstanding. Okay, let's go towards the quest marker. Shields up. And here is Verona. Poor Verona. There we go. We got the objective completed. Find a Verona. Tell Neeloth that... Neleth, I keep mispronouncing his name, I just realized it's Neleth, not Neloth. Probably gonna do that for a while before I get used to it, okay. So, <laughs> just bear with me. Neleth.
uh, till Mithrin. Dude. Have you found Verona yet? I could really use some tea. Fortunately, Verona is dead. Dead? Yes. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> annoying. <laughs> you cold hearted son of a. <laughs> okay, it looks like an ash spawn attack got her. There are more and more of those things showing up around here lately. I suppose you'll have to find me a new steward. Try Raven Rock. They are in awe of me there. In I'm sure awe. almost anyone would be willing to serve me. Sounds just like Richard Harris in uh, Unforgiven. In awe. I like that. Okay, um, what kind of person should I look for? Hmm, excellent question. Once word gets out, there will be a lot of people to choose from. Someone with a brilliant mind and a robust physique that is blindly obedient would be ideal. Is that all? <laughs> oh, okay. They need to know how to brew tea. Wolves always waters it down. All right, no Nescafe for you, eh? All right, um, and that is it. Uh, you have to find him a new steward. steward. Basically, just ask around Raven Rock. Everyone's gonna tell you what an SOB he is. Is gonna refuse, except. Drovis at the Retching Netch. So here we are in Raven Rock. You can ask around. For example. You look able to venture outside of town. Perhaps you could help me recover something precious that was lost. Okay, we'll get to that later. But for now, do you want to be the new steward of Telmithrin? I could never leave Adro behind, and he will never leave Lero. Besides, I'd never work for Neloth. I heard he cut the heart out of his former apprentice. <laughs> That's generally the response you're going to get from everybody. No way I'm going to work for Neloth. Except, if you go to the Retching Net. I work for Mogro. You got a problem, you talk to him. Okay, that's nice. In the Retching Net, you find Drovis, usually here at the fire Welcome or sitting the over there. Corner. We have all sorts of authentic there we go. Do you want to be the new steward of Tel Mithrin? Uh, you mean leave Raven Rock for good? To go work for a crazed Telvani wizard? Sure. Just let me get me things. <laughs> it On takes no convincing point, whatsoever. I can get new stuff. You seem awfully eager. Well, I've never been one to pass up an opportunity. Sorry to run, but I'm off to my new job. <laughs> okay, and he agrees, no problem. So all you have to do is go back to Nellith. Give him the good news. Hmm. Good day. Nellith. Back so soon? I found you a new steward. That Drovus man? Yeah. I suppose he'll do. He makes dreadful Canis root tea, though. But I should be grateful. Here, take this for your efforts. Oh, and you may use my staff enchanter if you want. There you go, 500 gold and the key to the Staff Enchanter room. So now everything is unlocked. Let's go over here, open it up, and then we go, here's the Staff Enchanter. Requires um, varying numbers of heart stones. It requires you to kn actually know the spell that you want to make a staff out of. And you need an unenchanted staff for that school of magic for whatever you're making um, a staff out of. More options will appear here as you learn more spells, like more normal spells. And you can get these unenchanted mm. school of magic staffs from Nellis. These heart stones. 
I suppose I could dig up a staff or two for you. Go to weapons. Scroll on down to the bottom, and here you go. If he doesn't have the school of magic you you need, it's like it's basically like anybody any merchant's inventory. Just wait 48 hours, or he'll his inventory will refresh, and you'll probably find that school of magic staff, the unenchanted school of magic staff. Okay, so there we go. That's the whole deal with Nella. Finally, I can get back to work. And one more thing, there's a ton of great ingredients in here, including t a ton of Canis Root for free. This is probably one of the best places to come for Canis Root, after you get it all unlocked. After you do the, the From the Ashes quest for that guy, a lot of these ingredients, including, I think it's like 25 Canis Root all around here. I forget the exact number, but there's lots. So that is it. Coming up next, we're going to take on Iron Bind Barrel and then come back here and set off our big business bomb. Hey, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.